and information for the new students that you have your extra classes arrangement on Wednesday from 1.30 onwards. Okay, from 1.30 to 2.30, you are having your remedial classes. So, those who missed the earlier topics can join that class. Okay, and you can cope up with the present situation. That is one point. Clear. And other point I want to ask that uh, how was your exam, students? Quickly respond. Two or three. Good, ma'am. Good. How was your exam? Exam kaisa hua aapka? It was nice. Good, it was good. Okay, fine. <clears throat> and uh, one more uh, information for uh, students who have recently joined the university. Okay, uh, see, students, uh, a special midterm, first midterm will be again arranged for you people. So, meanwhile, you have to. Um, you have to study whatever topics have been discussed in the earlier time, okay? Or before your admission, whatever topics has been discussed in various subjects that you have to learn, okay, through extra classes and uh, through the content provided, okay, in form of word file or the PowerPoint presentations, okay? That is the thing. So you have to work a lot, okay, because you have to complete that uh learning of yours and then you have to attempt your first midterm exam okay it will be held in october so those who have missed this time and the students even did not deposited the fee okay of the semester were not permitted for the exam and Suppose anyhow, many, uh, some of the students have appeared for the exam, their results will not be declared. Okay, they have to reappear in the exam. Those who did not submit the fee, semester fee. Is this point clear, students? Okay, so please do the needful within time so that you can avail the opportunity of the next midterm, which will be, uh, sorry, which will be held in October. Fine. So these were some informations I wanted to share with you people. Now, uh, let us start our discussion. Yes, students, are you able to see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay, fine, fine. Thank you. So see, as we are discussing uh, the topic communication, Okay, so in that sequence, we have checked that uh, what is communication, what is the definition of communication, okay, or which of the state we will term as communication that we have discussed, okay. So in that discussion, we uh, discussed that definitely there should be two sides for the communication, okay. Definitely there should be two sides, sender and receiver, okay. So that information we have discussed. Then we discussed about the process of communication and what are the features of effective communication. And whenever we are discussing the topic communication, always we are concerned about effectivity of communication. Is this point clear, students? Okay, all these points we have discussed. And I had one extra class um, earlier also. So uh, I think those... Uh, Maximum of you did not miss much of the discussion, okay? And if some of the student missed, today also we are having the class, okay? Uh, sorry, today it is not for you people, okay? It is for BCA course. So on Wednesday, on the coming Wednesday, you will be having the extra class. So on that day, we will discuss the previous topics which we discussed for the new students, okay? So also we discussed in that sequence of communication topic that... What are the various types of communication? Okay, what are the various directions of communication? And particularly, we need to discuss about the organizational communication. 
okay so what is that that we have discussed i am just making you to recall the term so that you can connect uh, with the next discussion of ours so uh, see we need to focus on organizational communication why because uh, much of the exercises or much of the training we have to practice or we have to do is in terms of formal communication workplace communication okay or organizational communication okay workplace is a form of organization only why because many of the people many of the personnel with many of the capacities with many of the qualifications those work together for a common purpose to be achieved okay so that is the reason a workplace is termed as an organization okay so definitely we have to check this particular aspect more importantly okay organizational communication so the basic information we discussed then we were discussing about the types of communication okay so in that sequence we discussed that there could be many levels okay on which we can differentiate communication in different categories okay so as per the participants as per the participants okay we can have categories of communication interpersonal communication intrapersonal communication mass communication extra personal communication okay can you recall students all these terms yes many of you can recall yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma okay so as per the participants in the process of communication okay we can differentiate communication in different categories that we have discussed then as per the direction okay or as per the flow of the uh, information in the process of communication again we can have different categories of communication okay that horizontal vertical diagonal okay spiral all these categories we have discussed earlier clear so these are the different categories as per the as per the direction of the information circulated okay in that organization within some group okay there could be small groups in that organization clear so that is the situation uh now one minute okay fine so in that sequence uh, we checked that yes information uh, can be circulated in vertical direction information can be circulated in uh, the horizontal direction okay and information can be circulated in cross directions that is diagonal okay and also the information can be circulated or it can it can be moved okay in a spiral manner okay spiral manner we mean to say that there will be definitely a mediator okay so complete responsibility lies on the authenticity and the we can say uh, authenticity as well as the sincerity of the mediator okay to receive the information in exact manner and to pass on that information to the other side in exact manner okay so serious responsibility lies on whom mediator in the spiral flow of the information during the process of communication okay so all these points we have discussed earlier now as per the manner as per the medium adopted for the process of communication again we have two Uh, different categories those are verbal and ver verbal and non verbal communication okay so just quickly can anyone point out that what are the sub categories of verbal communication we have discussed quickly one or two students please respond to this i am repeating my question okay that what are the different sub categories we have discussed for verbal communication
Um, for verbal, oral or written? Yes, oral and written. Okay, good. And for non-verbal, it is uh, body language. Ma'am, kinetic, nutritive, chronomics, artifacts. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Fine. See, uh, and can anyone, anyone, uh, just define what is verbal communication? Yes. What is verbal communication? Can anyone quickly defi uh, define it? Communication Ma in form of written or oral. Verbal communication in form of written and oral form, and non-verbal communication means. No, I am. I am just asking. Please focus. Please focus. Yes, Deepa Datta. She is responding. Communication through words. That is verbal communication. Okay. This was my question. That you have to define. Verbal communication. What is verbal communication? Okay, verbal communication means using language. Okay, and how a human being uses language in form of words, in form of sentences. Okay, so using words and sentences. Okay, for the purpose of communication, that is verbal communication. Okay, so please focus on the question language. Okay, what has been asked? You have to answer that only. Maybe there are many related, many extra informations, but we are not concerned about that in that particular moment. Okay, that is effectivity. That is effectivity of expression. That is one of the form of communication. Clear? To concentrate and answer exactly. Because see, uh, just we are starting with that discussion. Okay that how it is important in an organization, okay? So that is the reason you have to concentrate upon this, that whatever has been asked, you have to respond accordingly, okay? Fine, so see, communication through worldly language, worldly, okay, W-O-R-D-L-Y. Communication through worldly language, that is verbal communication. One of the students is asking me, okay, that uh, is uh, communication through language is verbal or non-verbal, okay? If that language is used in form of words and sentences, okay, words and sentences, then it is verbal communication, okay? And if we are using some different language, in form of signs, signs, S I G N S, signs, diagrams, colors, okay, uh, some other symbols, okay, so that will be non verbal communication. Is this point clear? Yes, students. See, when, uh, so the so verbal communication, is that is quite clear to you people. Now, non the other category we have discussed that is non-verbal communication. It means no words. No words will be there, okay? But many other aspects will be there. Many other things will be there to complete or to uh, have the context of communication, okay? To complete the process of communication or to have the context of communication. Except words except sentences, okay, we will have different other things for the process of communication. Okay, so in that sequence, uh, if you remember, we discussed about one of the student was exactly mentioning the terminologies, okay, kinesics, proxemics, chronomics, okay, and uh, paralinguistics, extra linguistics, Okay, sign language and all that. Okay, we discussed about all these things. So students who have late joined, uh, I'll repeat all these things in that extra class. Okay, so please uh, don't worry about the things. Okay, you just try to cope up with this present information. So see, in this way, we have discussed about all the types of communication. Now, as I was mentioning that uh in an organization as a, a variety of participants are there number of participants are there okay so 
there will be interpersonal communication sometime there will be intrapersonal communication also okay sometime there will be mass communication also now you people can relate okay that how it will be intrapersonal communication how it will be um, interpersonal communication how it will be mass communication okay because we have discussed all these points as i am referring that in an organization all these types of communication okay are happening all the time okay so in that sequence see in an organization as we discussed earlier also that many of the people are participating all together okay and those are coming from different background okay in terms of academics in terms of qualifications in terms of job profile in terms of uh, task assigned to them okay so as variety of people variety of personnels are coming together okay and they are working collectively for a common goal okay for a common production clear so in that sequence what is there that whatever type of communication is happening whether it is mass communication whether it is inter uh, interpersonal communication whether it is intrapersonal communication okay that all should be effectively done okay that is the point clear so to bring that effectivity in that organization in terms of communication okay again we can have again we can have okay two categories of communication those are formal communication and informal communication please remember these points as you can easily check here okay see this is also a type of categorization okay in terms of communication informal and formal because if we are discussing organizational communication if we are discussing uh, communication at a workplace okay we should be very much clear about these two context informal and formal communication okay now the other point you can see here both the communications okay can be applied in an organization in any manner okay both the types of communication are existing in an organization okay and those can be applied in any manner okay at any level also the reason behind okay to regulate the work in that organization okay to regulate the work in that organization okay these are adopted or these are followed now see the next point also you can see here both the styles are necessary but here in an organization you please focus that formal communication is the dominating one okay informal communication also exist okay it also exist okay it is also necessary in an organization at a workplace okay to be done but formal communication is the dominating one why to regulate the work okay to uh, we can say minimize the wastage okay to minimize uh, the waste of time also okay or to maximize the utility of the resources the use of the resources for the production purpose okay for that reason the dominating type of communication will be formal one although informal communication is also existing in an organization or at a workplace okay what are these we will definitely discuss about all these these are quite interesting now next one is appropriate style depends upon the situation or setting and the people involved appropriate style here means the appropriate style of informal communication or the formal communication okay which one will be adopted and how it will be adopted okay the manner also differs in various situations as per the situation setting and the people participating in that process 
okay so as per these three conditions okay the style varies okay we can't confirm okay that this particular style of communication can be uh, applicable at all the at all the places okay in the same manner okay each and every job has its specific requirement okay each and every organization has its specific organization because of the reason types of personnel working there okay so definitely the manner will vary from organization to organization okay so that is the thing that we have to remember now the next point is now uh yes students can you just quickly respond to this image is there any difference in the appearance of these two people uniform ha huh? uniform uniform are they wearing uniform or dress one is dress one is ha huh? dress dress uh yes, yes sir let me know uh from your side can you differentiate what is dress and what is uniform because see we uh, consciously or unconsciously we use these words incorrectly many a time so can anyone just define what is dress and what is uniform Yes. Now, uniform is formal, and dress is dress is also formal. See, as you can see here. Okay, see this person. Uniform. Dress may be dress may be formal also, casual also. No. Okay. Now, uniform is a part of an organization, and it is a code for the organization. Whereas, then dress is a normal means anything you can wear. It may be formal, it may be an informal. Yes. Okay. See, for uniform, we can use the term dress. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Dress is a wider term. Okay. Uniform is one part of that dress. Is this point clear? Yes, ma'am. Uniform is that dress. Yes, okay, as uh, you have rightly mentioned, that it is part of the dressing code of some organization. When there is some code in terms of attire, in terms of costume, in terms of dress, in some organization. Okay, what I mean to say that if this is the state of some organization, that one. a uh, specific costume of specific color and design has to be uh, has to be weared by maximum of the personnel in that organization okay that becomes uniform is this point clear as with the word itself you can check okay uniform means unique it is similar okay it is similar with all okay but dress it is all the costumes which we wear for all those costumes we can use the term dress okay but if that particular dress is coded okay it is specified in terms of design and color in terms of ye aap note karo because interview mein is type ke general questions bhi aap se kai baar puch lete hain ठीक है ये आप इसको इस तरीके से डिफाइन करोगे इफ सम ऑफ द ड्रेस ओके इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज स्पेसिफाइड इज स्पेसिफाइड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कलर एंड डिजाइन कलर एंड डिजाइन दैट बिकम्स व्हाट यूनिफॉर्म ओके दैट इज द ड्रेस कोड यूनिफॉर्म इज अ ड्रेस कोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक कलर एंड डिजाइन okay at a formal place at a formal place theek hai ye nahi hai ki event mein suppose ghar mein koi uh, marriage ka celebration ho raha hai marriage ka ceremony chal raha hai theek hai aur uske kisi event mein decide kiya ki sab jo hai wo ye ye dress pehnenge theek hai wo uniform nahi hai 
ठीक है यूनिफॉर्म जो है वो वर्क प्लेस से रिलेटेड है फॉर्मल प्लेस से रिलेटेड है ये भी पॉइंट आप नोट करो दिस इज हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट बिकॉज सी यू कैन इजिली रिकॉल दीज पॉइंट वट आई एम से दैट नाव इट इज इन सेरेमनीज ऑल्सो इन आर सोशल सेरेमनीज ऑल्सो वी डिसाइड ड्रेस कोड ओके ड्रेस कोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कलर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिजाइन ऑल्सो वी डिसाइड ओके बट दैट इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म वो यूनिफॉर्म नहीं है उसके लिए हम यूनिफॉर्म टर्म यूज नहीं कर सकते ठीक है यूनिफॉर्म टर्म हम किसके लिए यूज करेंगे एन अटायर इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक कलर एंड डिजाइन ओके विच इज विच इज अ ड्रेस कोड फॉर सम फॉर्मल प्लेस ओके फॉर्मल प्लेस से रिलेटेड जैसे अभी आपका यहाँ पे यूनिवर्सिटी में आपका ड्रेस कोड है आपका यूनिफॉर्म है स्टूडेंट्स का ठीक है स्पेसिफिक कलर है शर्ट का डिजाइन भी है कलर सॉरी शर्ट का पेंट का भी एक स्पेसिफिक कलर है आपके ब्लेजर का भी एक स्पेसिफिक कलर है ठीक है और यूनिवर्सिटी या आपका जो कॉलेज है आपके जो डिपार्टमेंट्स है ठीक है वो फॉर्मल प्लेसेस है ठीक है तो इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक कलर डिजाइन इफ सम ड्रेस इज असाइंड ओके इट इज डिसाइडेड ओके टू बी वॉर्न then that becomes uniform ye samajh mein aa gaya kya students aapko sabko yes ma'am aur kya do you accept this point ki aajkal social events mein bhi hum log dress code decide karte hain ki ek specific color hi sabko pehanna hai ya ek specific type ka ek yes ma'am bhi hum decide kar dete hain lekin wo uniform nahi hai okay why because that is related to a social event okay that is related to सम अदर पर्पज ओके लेकिन जो इस टाइप का सिचुएशन फॉर्मल प्लेस से रिलेटेड है तो उसके लिए फिर हम अटायर के लिए वर्ड यूज कर सकते हैं यूनिफॉर्म दिस इज हाउ दीज थिंग्स आर डिफरेंट ओके सो प्लीज चेक हियर इन दिस इमेज बोथ द पर्सन आर वियरिंग ड्रेसेस इज दिस क्लियर यस Yes, हम इन yes, दोनों के कॉन्टेक्स में बिकॉज अभी हमें क्लैरिटी नहीं है ठीक है हम यूनिफॉर्म नहीं कह सकते और इन जनरल यूनिफॉर्म जो भी डिसाइड होता है मेल्स का ठीक है उसमें जो भी शर्ट होता है ठीक है उसका जनरली ये पैटर्न नहीं होता दिस ऑल्सो वी हैव टू चेक इन जनरल इस टाइप का नेक का डिजाइन का पैटर्न नहीं होता यूनिफॉर्म्स का इसलिए हम ये आइडिया लगा पा रहे हैं तो ये क्या है ये नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन के क्यूज हैं ठीक है उससे हम एक इंफॉर्मेशन गेन करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि दीज टू दीज टू पीपल आर वेयरिंग ड्रेसेस ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ओके वन इज कैजुअल ड्रेस ओके दिस ड्रेस अ पर्सन कैन वेयर ओके एट एनी uh we can say at any place okay but this is slightly formal one okay this is slightly formal one this is slightly casual one okay or the word you can find here this is slightly formal dress this is slightly informal dress another term also we can use for that that is casual okay casuals casuals means the dresses okay or the costumes or the attires which we which we use okay except our formal places okay casuals jo hum formal places ke alawa use karte hain theek hai let it be that is our family space let it be that is our um uh, other place okay where uh, we are moving it is market place or something else okay that is those are casuals okay and see uh, abhi to nahi maybe after 2 years uh, not even 2 years okay abhi uh, uh, we hope that things will be uh, all right uh, in the very recent future okay so many times you will listen your seniors and your teachers are uh, saying okay or those are giving you the instructions okay that don't come in casuals in the classes okay use formals okay so your uniform is formals in your context okay and rest of the other 
dress except your uniform those are the casuals in context of your college campus in terms of your university campus okay so this also plays a very important role in these two types of communication the dresses okay so this is the formal dress this is the casual dress or informal dress okay so what particular message is delivered by this image that is that one has to be formally dressed formally well dressed at a workplace okay and this is the major requirement of formal communication theek hai jab hum dress ki baat karte hain jo first point hai theek hai uski baat karte hain to formally well dressed hona chahiye person formal place pe theek hai and that is also very important part of formal communication okay that is the thing clear so now let us come to the exact uh point of discussion what do we mean by formal communication formal communication is the process of exchanging information by following the prescribed or official rules okay so the pattern okay sorry the pattern and the resources will be prescribed will be defined okay one more word we can use here that is defined clear so formal communication is a process so this is how it is different okay or it is specific that here the defined pattern and the resources okay will be used for the exchange or the share or the transfer of the information that is how we have to check okay that is formal communication is this point clear students suppose yes, uh, see uh, as we are discussing in our practical classes also okay and we are discussing in our theory class also okay that suppose you want leave or some uh, some work is there of yours related to university okay so you have to follow a particular process it cannot happen in a manner as it happens at our family place okay or in our family group suppose aapko jo hai pen chahiye theek hai ya suppose aapko koi book chahiye theek hai to aap chalte chalte bhi apne father ko ya mother ko bol doge theek hai ki mujhe jo hai ye book chahiye aur ye chahiye theek hai so that will be followed okay that requirement of yours will be followed and you will be provided with that book or whatever object you require okay but here in the formal setup okay it will not happen in that way okay if you require something you have to write it down in form of application in form uh, or uh, whatever whatever format is provided okay for the requirement uh, submission okay so you have to write in that okay and how much quantity what uh, what particular brand you want okay all all the things you have to write down you have to forward that requisite that request form of yours to the related authority then if the permission is granted in writing further further what can happen this can also happen that that particular requirement of yours can be forwarded to some related office okay and then you will get the things so it is a time taking process okay formal communication is a time taking process a particular formal pattern okay the formal resources are to be used but that is not required at a social space okay so this is how it is different aapko suppose abhi aap jab college aa jayenge to aapka even just campus se bahar aapko jo hai wo pen lane ke liye jana hai theek hai aapko pen lane ke liye jana hai then also it will be expected ki aap ek register main gate pe suppose ye ek simple sa task hai theek hai to aapko us register mein sign karke jana hoga if you are not signing you will not be allowed by the guards to move out theek hai to ek formal process formal place pe aapko 
फॉलो करना है ठीक है द रीजन बिहाइंड टू रेगुलेट द अफेयर अदरवाइज क्या होगा सपोज ये सिस्टम नहीं हो ठीक है वर्क प्लेस पे या फॉर्मल प्लेस पे ये सिस्टम नहीं हो ठीक है कोई फॉर्मल प्रोसेस नहीं हो कुछ रिकॉर्डिंग नहीं हो कुछ जो है डॉक्यूमेंटेशन नहीं हो तो क्या होगा कोई कभी भी आएगा कहीं भी जाएगा ठीक है देर विल बी नो रिकॉर्ड एट ऑल ओके एंड समाइम समाइम वॉट कैन हैपन थिंग्स कैन गो रॉन्ग ओके फॉर द पर्सन एज वेल एज फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो द रीजन इज दैट टू रेगुलेट द अफेयर्स एट अ प्लेस वेर मेनी पीपल फ्रॉम मेनी बैकग्राउंड आर वर्किंग टूगेदर फॉर अ कॉमन पर्पज ओके formal communication is extremely required okay and what is formal communication it is a designed pattern okay and defined resources use that is formal communication yes now see here as some meeting is going on okay and a person wants to say something okay so the person has raised his hand okay that i have to say something that is the appropriate manner okay then what will happen as the person has raised the hand everybody has noticed that yes this particular person has to say something okay so let us all listen and if this does not happen in this manner okay at a workplace what will happen if the person is not asking permission and the person is not provided with the opportunity what will happen there will be a mess there will be a mess okay nobody will attend the information maybe the person has started speaking nobody is attending that information so there is no result at all of that particular communication is this point clear students yes ye samajh mein aaya ये ये भी एक फॉर्मल पैटर्न है ठीक है सपोज द क्लास हैज स्टार्टेड ओके एंड यू आर स्लाइटली लेट ओके मे बी अ जेनविन रीजन फॉर दैट ओके यू आर इन द लाइब्रेरी सो इट टुक सम टाइम दैट्स वाई यू आर लेट और यू वेंट फॉर वॉटर ओके दैट्स वाई यू आर स्लाइटली वन और टू मिनट्स लेट सो वट विल हैपन लेट इट बी यू आर लेट बाई अ जेनविन रीजन okay you have to ask permission to enter in the class and if the teacher or the person is asking you to reason out and if you say that i went for so and so purpose and that's why i'm late okay in a polite manner you will be permitted okay and there will be uh, we can say no disturbance at all in the class otherwise what will happen if anybody is free to move out any time and anybody is free to come inside any time okay it will be a totally mess okay nothing can come out of that class activity okay all time the disturbance will be there so that is the reason that is the reason that the formal steps the formal patterns are decided for a workplace and that is formal communication okay so even it happens in writing even it happens in the context of oral communication now let us check this one now you please uh, go through these points okay what is formal communication just check here the first point it is complex and thorough okay the pronunciation of this word is what thorough thorough means the sometime it is a detailed description okay are you getting this point students ye samajh mein aaya kya yes ma'am complex yes, kyu hai yes ma'am complex kyu hai aur thorough kyu hai bata sakenge aap what do you understand by this hmm why the formal communication is complex and why it is a thorough process thoro means it is much detailed okay complex because a particular pattern has to be followed 
there is no scope of uh, we can say choice okay so that particular process could be complex for somebody abhi jaise for example shuru shuru mein aap se bahut sare students ko jo hai प्रॉब्लम आ रही थी क्लास ज्वाइनिंग में या पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर जो एक प्लेटफॉर्म हम यूज कर रहे हैं वो आपको नहीं समझ में आ रहा है ठीक है तो मेनी ऑफ यू वर फाइंडिंग दैट द टीचिंग प्रोसेस हियर इज क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके यहाँ क्लासरूम का जो है वो क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स है इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स आपको समझ में आया पॉइंट आप कनेक्ट कर पा रहे हो इस चीज से ठीक है आप में से बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को ये प्रोसेस जो है वो कॉम्प्लेक्स लगा होगा ठीक है लेकिन टू रेगुलेट द अफेयर्स एंड नाउ I think many of you might have explored many other platforms also, and you might have observed that this particular platform is comparatively more comfortable in terms of all means. देखो Google Meet जो है इसमें चाहे slow speed है ठीक है network की चाहे slow speed है तो भी ये then also it continues. Okay, there are less problem in Google Meet. okay and even it is uh, easy to access okay everybody can access it easily with one or two demonstration okay one can easily handle this particular platform okay so these are two reasons these are and uh we can say uh, it can be operated from any device there are certain platforms okay which are not effective that much if you are operating them with a mobile phone okay so as this particular platform is accessible from all type of devices so so that's the reason we have opted this okay but sometime as people were not explored uh, about this particular type of platform okay those were not exposed to so maybe those students were facing difficulty in earlier times even many of the teachers in earlier times were facing the difficulties okay so at that particular moment we were thinking that it's a complex okay process and even see uh you might have observed that uh the time table is displayed for you people okay for the classes then also time to time information has to be posted in your whatsapp group then further your attendance status has to be updated in the uh system okay so maybe the process reflects to be complex one okay but it it reflects to be repetitive one but then also it is quite effective why because the records are kept with this so as many of the steps are followed okay in a specific pattern there is no scope of anyone's choice okay so that terms that becomes what complex theek hai jab choice ka या चेंजेस का स्कोप लेस होता है ठीक है एक डेफिनेट पैटर्न सेट करके उसको फॉलो करना है तो इट उसको हम कॉम्प्लेक्स बोलेंगे ठीक है सिस्टम क्लियर अदर वर्ड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ड इज सिस्टम अ पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम हैज टू बी फॉलोड एंड थॉरो ओके इट शुड बी डिटेल्ड okay why because it is not necessary that everybody is expert in everything okay so if things are thorough then things are detailed out step by step theek hai to kisi ko kuch bhi samajhna hai to wo ek particular step ko check karke information ko samajh sakta hai okay so that is the point so formal communication are slightly complex and those are thorough those are detailed matlab each and everything is recorded each and everything each and every information is mentioned that means thought clear so that is the, nothing is skipped now ab ye isko aap ek chote se aise example se bhi aap check kar sakte ho ki suppose jaise aapne school level pe bahut sare students ne events organize kiye honge theek hai to kya event hoga uska ek aap पूरा रिकॉर्ड रखोगे जितना एक्सपेंस हुआ चाहे एक रुपए का भी एक्सपेंस हुआ है यू विल नोट डाउन दैट व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके बिकॉज इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ वी कैन से कलेक्टिव ग्रुप ओके किसी एक पर्सन का नहीं है जबकि घर पे आपने कुछ मंगवाया या घर घर पे कुछ सामान आया तो ऑल टाइम इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट थिंग्स आर रिकॉर्डेड 
okay but at a formal place it is it is compulsory to be recorded okay to have all the things information okay sab ka information hona zaruri hai now see this is also one of the context of formal communication longer and grammatically correct sentences one more thing we can add here that is the longer sentences will be used okay longer means the formal okay formal means whatever language is used okay for the process of communication the grammatical aspect of that language has to be has to be included in that expression okay that means full words it means okay there is no scope of abbreviations okay there is no scope of or less scope of sorry there is less scope of short words okay uh one example i'll give you here when you are texting to your friend okay for the word because you can opt the spelling b c o z when you are texting okay but when you are attempting in the exam and if you are following the same practice your marks will be deducted because because see that spelling is not at all existing in english language theek hai wo english language mein wo spelling exist nahi kar rahi hai to jab aap exam mein likhenge to aapko spelling likhni padegi for because word b e c a u s e this you have to write okay but if you are texting to your friend just to inform okay as that is slightly informal type of communication okay to wahan pe aap jo hai changes ya apni apni choice ko place de sakte ho theek hai choice ka scope hai lekin formal communication mein choice ka scope nahi hai theek hai that is the thing and oh, it should be avoided students please remember okay it should be avoided to use short words at formal place theek hai words ki short and form jo hai wo avoid karni chahiye one should write the complete word okay with the correct spelling okay otherwise there could be a problematic situation in the organization okay so this means if we concentrate upon these two longer sentences full words okay this means that the language which has been opted for the process of communication that should be correctly used in terms of grammar in terms of syntax in terms of even phonetics okay correct if oral communication ka context hai theek hai to pronunciation bhi correct hona chahiye theek hai the pronunciation should also be correct one fine so i think uh, uh, today we can uh, stop here itself we will continue this discussion in the next class okay if you have any question related to uh, the discussion we have done okay then you can place that excuse me ma'am yes ma'am there is a little bit confusion between us yes. that uh, uh, as you already told that uh, uh, verbal communication means the use of word to convey a message yes. so yes. if we were using a signature a sign for the formal document uh, it's a yes. type of uh, verbal or non verbal it is verbal communication oh because, because there is a little bit confusion okay, we will not use the word right word divya i'll correct here okay now onwards you start using the term those are initials the signatures are the initials ठीक है अदरवाइज इफ यू विल चेक द डिक्शनरी इफ यू विल चेक द डिक्शनरी यू विल फाइंड दैट द वर्ड सिग्नेचर मीन्स नेम एंड द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ द पर्सन ठीक है तो जो आप जो आप सिग्नेचर जिसको मीन कर रहे हो ना मैं आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओके दो आर इनिशियल्स आप एक बार डिक्शनरी चेक करना और दोनों वर्ड्स को चेक करना यू विल एग्री विद माई पॉइंट ओके ठीक है आप डिक्शनरी एक बार चेक करना सिग्नेचर का मतलब क्या होता है इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज में सिग्नेचर वर्ड का ये मीनिंग है ठीक है नेम ऑफ द पर्सन ओके ओके बट वट एवर वी आर रेफरिंग टू ओके दो आर इनिशियल्स 
in a short manner okay in a specific manner if the inscription is done okay in inscription is done in terms of identity of the person those are initials wo initial hai theek hai yes ha initial nahi initials initial is different initials are dif initials is different theek hai ha ha to initials jo hai wo verbal communication ka part hai so so it means that uh, the so that is inscription that is inscription okay that is inscription okay hai na वो इंस्क्रिप्शन की कैटेगरी में आता है इनिशियल्स जो है वो इंस्क्रिप्शन की कैटेगरी में आता है वर्ड्स की कैटेगरी में ही आता है वो बिकॉज अल्फाबेट्स आर यूज्ड ओके बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ सेइंग दैट इट्स एन नॉन वर्बल सो आई नो 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 मैंने आपको एक्सप्लेन कर दिया ना क्यों रीजन रीजन क्या है उसके पीछे की हम उसको वर्बल कैटेगरी में डालेंगे बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू विल एग्री दट इनिशियल में भी हम अल्फाबेट्स का यूज करते हैं सिंबल्स का यूज नहीं कर सकते किसी भी सिंबल का यूज नहीं करेंगे हम इनिशियल में अल्फाबेट्स को ही हम एक डिफरेंट पैटर्न में ड्रॉ करेंगे ठीक है हाँ एंड यू ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट वर्बल बोथ रिटर्न एंड ओरल सो यस यस ठीक है तो इंस्क्रिप्शन है वो इंस्क्रिप्शन का मतलब ही है रिटर्न समथिंग रिटर्न ओके एंड एल्फाबेट्स आर यूज that is why that is why our initials are verbal communication those are part of verbal communication those are not part of non verbal communication wo extra communication ki category mein nahi aayega theek hai hmm okay very nice you, yeah very good question raised by you theek hai maybe bahut sare students ko ye confusion rehta theek hai to aap is cheez ko clear kar lo yahi pe aur reason hai uska reason hai because initials mein hum alphabets ko hi use karte hain लैंग्वेज के and i also have the next class to take <laughs> thank you ma'am ma'am thank you thank you ma'am ma'am yes. ma uh, i need some sort of notes or a pdf for the past lectures okay i'll i'll provide it i'll provide it rohit uh, you have recently joined yes yes ma'am okay so rohit uh, um you do one thing okay you can ask your class fellows for the classroom account number okay and if uh, you do not find from them um, after 230 you can message me okay you can have my contact number yes new okay. students you can have my contact number or you can ask from other students 988 okay. 988 note down 988 77 294 294 255 Two nine four double five. Okay, so after two thirty, you please text me. You please text me. Then I'll provide you the classroom account, and I'll share again in that classroom account. Okay, and if you are now uh, in that WhatsApp group also of section A, I'll share the PDF or the word file again in that WhatsApp group. So those who have joined late, okay, those can also access that. बिकॉज़ वो पहले का शेयर किया हुआ आप नहीं एक्सेस कर पाओगे है ना यस मिस ठीक है तो मैं उसको दोबारा शेयर कर दूंगी व्हाट्सएप अकाउंट में भी शेयर कर दूंगी एंड क्लासरूम अकाउंट में भी एंड प्रेफरेबल है क्लासरूम अकाउंट अब ठीक है तो आप 2:30 के बाद में या तो आप अपने किसी फ्रेंड से ले लो ठीक है नहीं मिलता है तो टू के बाद में आप मुझे मैसेज ड्रॉप कर देना तो आई विल शेयर यू द लिंक ठीक है ओके मिस इज इट फाइन यस मिस विद एवरीवन ओके सो नाउ यू कैन लीव द क्लास ओके थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यस मैम बट द क्लासरूम इज ब्लैंक क्लासरूम इज नॉट ब्लैंक ओके आई विल शेयर इट अगेन इफ यू फाइंड इट इज ब्लैंक 
although i shared before your exam okay in all the groups in section a section b and with bca students okay in all the three classes screen. yes i'm going to present my screen you present your screen you want to share some information yes ma'am just okay, i don't know how share to it. how to present the screen see uh, at the yes, lower okay. right corner at the lower right corner of this google meet okay you will find present now acha mujhe dikha rahe ho kya aap apna classroom account ka ho now it is still showing blank is just showing mid term one and so then that's the selling that then you have recently joined the classroom no i have joined um, two, three, two three days back two three days back okay fine i'll share it again i'll and share it again. and uh, though i join other account other account also but i can uh, access the previous details sorry this one is not having any previous details okay i'll i'll like, share it again in the classroom accounts okay yes ma'am i'll share okay good good nitin <laughs> thank you ma'am okay thank you all of you and have a good day you can leave the class